if you tell your mum that I'm going to check the blood pressure and the temperature. Coming up for 90 and with a broken collarbone, Gordev would once have been admitted to hospital potentially for weeks. But clinicians have come to her home, keeping her off the ward and her family are happy to help. If we can manage some of the sort of minor ailments, as we could say that they are sometimes, if they're managed better at home, it spares beds and the nursing staff to tend to those who are more sick and in need of greater care. That's more important now than ever, with first nurses, then paramedics on strike on top of normal winter pressures. Hospitals need to keep every possible bed free for urgent care. Although tomorrow is, is very important for us to work harder to help our colleagues, which are not happy and they try to show that they are not happy, we can cover and we can help the patients to keep them in, in the community, in their home, and provide the care that they needed. The Clay Ponds Rehabilitation Unit in West London is also taking in as many patients as possible from acute hospitals. There are 73 beds, but COVID and flu mean two can't be used. Almost every bed in the hospital is now full and they're expecting more patients to be admitted in the coming hours. But they are hoping to discharge four or five home just to make way for another wave tomorrow. One, two, three. Bernard had an operation on his spine several weeks ago and has been moved from hospital to hospital as he slowly recovers. He's seen how hard staff are working on the wards. They are rushed, busy, overwhelmed every day. Um, this, I don't know how this, the nurses stand it. Nurses here aren't striking but support those who are. Action elsewhere quickly ripples through the system. There simply isn't any spare capacity in the NHS. There is a layering of winter pressures, the, the planning for a long bank holiday weekend, the, um, the pressure of COVID, the pressure of uh, influenza, um, other pressures in the system, and the industrial action on top is, is clearly an incredibly challenging time for all of us. What we're, what we're trying to do is, is make sure that we are as fully staffed as we can be, um, that we've got the pathways working as smoothly as they can be. The NHS has never been running this hot for this long. The current crisis follows two years of COVID and it is community services that are stepping up to ease some of the pressure. Thomas Moore, Sky News in West London.